going through the browser here now we can see the download of downloadation of eclipse ide enterprise edition now here i'm going through that eclipse eclipse downloads what is that link eclipse downloads here i am seeing that eclipse downloads the eclipse foundation click on that eclipse downloads eclipse foundation here i am seeing that this is the download link go through the go through this download x86 underscore 64 link and here we are seeing that okay this is the download link before that we need to give that allow cookies now click on the download link let us see here the eclipse id was downloading it will be in around uh, 1 to 2 minutes based on your internet connection here it will downloading uh, around 20 seconds i think now we are successfully downloaded download is different install is different now we are downloaded this eclipse.exe file and after successfully completion of your download successfully completion of your download now let us see in the in the left side down like bottom corner we are seeing that this option like open option which option it is open or else you can go through the downloads also it should be available now here i am clicking on the open clicking on the open now just wait a two seconds it should be open now eclipse installer will be following okay here we have a eclipse ide for java developers eclipse ide for interface java and web application developer for java projects eclipse ide for java developers is enough but we are going through the web application testing which application testing it is web application testing to do this web, web application testing purpose we need to go through the enterprise edition we already know core for core java purpose we are downloading the standard edition for our, like uh, for web application development they are started interface edition for mobile application we are going through the micro edition for web application purpose here i am clicking on the second which is the second options it is nothing but a eclipse ide for enterprise java and web developers i am clicking on that eclipse ide for web applications now here i am seeing that option like install option when i am clicking this install it should show some agreement okay i have some some xyz you can accept my conditions terms and conditions we need to say accept now now it will be taking around some laptops it will taking 5 minutes some systems it will taking 15 minutes some systems it will taking 30 minutes based on your internet connection be in patience
Now, here, this is the main thing creating of workspace. Workspace is nothing but a whatever we are writing programs in Eclipse IDE, it should be stored in separate folder. So, we need to create our own workspace. Defaultly, it will under in our computer C drive and users and username and Eclipse workspace. This is the folder. We need to create our own workspace. So, click on the browse. Click on the browse. It should be navigating to the files. It should be navigated to your files. In that files, just observe here. Here, I'm going through a driver. I'm going approaching here. Here, I have a Google like a G drive. Uh, must you need to prefer E drive or D drive? Like in your systems, you are following some E drives and D drives. You need follow E or D or F drive. Here I'm approaching that G drive. Here I'm creating one new folder. New folder. New folder. The folder name is. Sorry, uh, there is a not enough space. Okay. To the C only, I'm creating one new folder. But guys, you need to follow create a new folder in G drive or. Sorry, uh, D drive or F drive. Okay. Here I'm going through the new folder. The folder name is for underscore automation. I created a one folder. The folder name is for automation. And I'm selecting this for automation folder and select folder. Now let us see workspace is C drive for automation. The workspace is C drive for automation. And I'm going through the launch. And I'm going through the launch. Now, I successfully created one workspace and successfully I installed Eclipse. Now, I'm going to write a one programming Eclipse ID. Here it was loading. Here I'm going through the open. This is the welcome board. This is the welcome board. Who are entering the file? Okay, uh, here you're having some tutorials and you're having some samples. Here you're having some overview. But we don't need this type of welcome board. Let us like uh, we will discuss in the direct way in your tutorials. Now, here I'm closing this welcome book. Here I'm closing this welcome. Now, here defaultly it will have in a create a Maven project. It will de default having in a create a Maven project. First, initially in practice purpose, don't go through with the Maven projects. We need to work on the Java projects when we are going through the practice. Like a pretty one practice just the moment of first Java projects with a chess column. So here, here is my cursor. I'm going through the open perspective. This is the option like open perspective. I click on on the open perspective. Here I'm seeing that Java. Here Java is the one of the option we found. Just go through the double click. Now it was started the create a Java project option. Now here we have that. Uh, here we have that Java. This is the java w we, we created the now we need to create a java project here for selenium purpose file a new like file and new my project name is here we need to give some project name is my selenium first project okay and must and should i am I, uh, like i'm remembering this thing we need to uncheck the module we need to uncheck the module like where uh, with the module we can't able to create a project and after that go to the option like finish project option 
and after the completion and share the to create this project and vision. Okay. And after the creation of project, default it will comes with the Java running environment. That is nothing but a what are the Java predefined packages we have that should be default. It should be available in a JRE system libraries. Now to the SRC to the SRC SRC is nothing but a source. SRC is nothing but a source to the source. We need to create a first package. We can't create a package default. It should be create one. Package no. SRC right click to the SRC and we are seeing the new option to the new option. We have a package option SRC to the new we have a package guy. Uh, okay, guys. See once again it, uh, like this is the concept first. We need to go through the SRC new and then package click on the package. We must and should we need to follow package name as com dot QA. This is commonly we are practicing the uh, like uh, practicing the QA session. Com dot QA is a common thing. Just go through the com dot QA dot. Here I'm going through the um, package name is hello package. Okay, just I'm going through the com dot QA dot hello. Just I'm going through the finish. Here I'm going through the finish. To the package, to the package, I'm creating the class. So right click and new. Here is the class option. Click on the class. To the class, I'm giving a name as class name is hello. Guys, must and should class name should be start with the capital letter. Don't start with the numerical. And don't go through the spaces in between the class, or else we can go through the underscore uh, the and iPhone is better. And I'm going through the public static void main string also. For defaultly generating the main method, I click on that public static void main string box, and I'm going through the finish option. Now yeah, this is our class environment. Yeah, okay, guys. Now to the main method, to the main method, we are going through the printing statement. Which statement it is? Printing statement that is available in Java. Yes, system dot out dot print. To the Eclipse, we need to go through the SYSO. SYSO and control, press on the control and click on the space bar. Click on the space bar. Just we can create in this system dot out dot print an option. In this statement, in the double quotes, we are following the hello selenium. This is the word hello selenium. Then, like uh, like that in Java, we are starting the hello world program. Like that, we are starting here hello selenium program and go through the control yes, control yes for saving purpose, control yes. And after that, here we are seeing one option. Here we are seeing some option. Then click on the this button. Then we can see in the console we can see the answers. Let us see here. Hello Selenium. It was printed that hello Selenium. This is the first Selenium project. Just based on the Java, we are created a first Selenium project, and the class name is hello Selenium, and we are printed that hello Selenium. Okay. Now we can go through the how to download the jars and how to download the drivers in Selenium. Now let us see the concept here. I minimize the thing and I again I approached one browser here again. I approached one browser like 
Chrome browser, whatever it is, in the Google Chrome, I am like 